greetings guys i welcome you in this wonderful video so uh today i'm just gonna share with you something that i've not been sharing uh in the past uh the process that i used to actually uh take my trades i know that uh we've been speaking much about identifying the the, the, the trend uh the direction where the market is flowing in your smaller time frame for example in this case i'm on the 30 minute yeah? so when you have to take your trades you have to identify where the market is going uh because remember that when it comes to ranges in synthetic indices or in volatility indices i really don't recommend much of uh, uh range trading why because i always tell you that the ranges here they are not actually consistent you'll find uh, a range having uh waves like these waves which are not constant meaning you cannot be able to to identify the correct support and the correct resistance ne? so that's why i don't recommend trading it ne? so now what i will show you is just a very very simple method ne? before you can trade the trend ne? one thing that you need to be sure of is that you need to be sure that the trend is gonna last ne? because that's one problem that we have one can say okay i'm gonna wait here for a small corrective just as they've been happening here um, i wait for a small corrective and when the corrective happens i then uh after the flow is broken i then buy let's say the the flow becomes broken and then after you buy then the market start to collapse all the way down that's something that is common that's something that is usually causing us to lose money ne? but here i'm gonna show with you the the, the reason behind that ne? so before i can even start trading this trend for for myself personally because if i am to trade uh this market even if it's scalping ne? i'm on the 30 minutes I'm, I'm, I'm on the 15 even if it's scalping before i can begin to scalp i need to one understand if the trend is gonna last for a longer period because even when i'm scalping scalping is not all about buying here and then closing here ne? it's not all about buying here and then closing here it's all about buying and then if the market works with you it doesn't mean that you should close ne? yes you can enter and close uh in a short period of time because that's the definition of scalping but for you to make money as a scalper you need to understand that if the market is moving on your favor let's say you buy here if the market is moving on your favor there is no need for you to, to panic and close your trade here allow the market to flow and when you see that now the market is beginning to shift then you can close your trade all the way up there so that's how we make money as scalpers not necessarily that you just buy here and close here if you do that if you enter here and you close here you won't make money you won't be making money because you just denied an opportunity because you need to know that trading is rough the market is not friendly so if it gives you an opportunity like this and you deny it it's gonna be uh a bad experience for you so what i will do in my case i will uh try to figure out if this move or this trend is genuine is it gonna last so how do i figure that out that's one thing that i will do now for an example before let's say um i usually do this when i'm like uh starting my week i usually look at a very very bigger time frame which i don't use at all a time frame that i don't use to trade but i use it to detect my market's direction for an example let me i will go to the daily i want you to see something ne? so see how the daily looks like ne? i'm gonna draw you see how the daily look looks like ne? this is the daily time frame but then this is uh this is our time frame that we are using to trade let me go to the 30 minutes so here look how the, the 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 30 minutes is looking like it's a complete uptrend but then if i go back to the daily you can see that on the daily it was some kind of uh, a corrective move ne? which is made out of patterns and then this corrective move you can see that it is now getting broken ne? it is now getting broken for an example you can see that the market was flowing in a channel and then now the channel is getting broken and when the channel is getting broken remember it's not just getting broken from nowhere there is some sign of uh decrease in strength in terms of the sellers you see that where the low and then where the new low which is higher than the previous one meaning now it's like the buyers are coming in the market so then or therefore we are likely to see the market come on we are likely to see the market moving up ne? We like to see the market moving up meaning this small kangly this is the kangly that we see as a trend ne? in the in the in the in the smaller time frame this is the kangly that we see as a trend and also one important tip again before you can 
just look at how the, the price is behaving there before you begin your week as a trader. You should also understand as, as you are scalping, let's say you want to scalp today, understand the level where the Kangli is. Ne? Understand if is, is the Kangli uh, still at its early stages or is it at its late stages? Ne? For an example, this one, depending on when it started and when it's going to end, if you find a Kangli that is already at its late stages, you should wait for a new open to take place so that because now if you're going to uh, just buy here you need to know that firstly when the when the new kangli opens it will start going down and then before it, it shoots up ne? so if you as a trader you begin to buy here it will go down and if it's go down on a bigger time frame on a smaller time frame it will be a lot of uh loss it will be a lot of man i don't know how much it will be i'm just writing servant it will be a lot of man ne? so you should make sure that you understand the structure in a very very bigger time frame so that you will know how you're gonna conduct your scalping ne? because it's all about understanding what the market is doing ne? so i hope that one is making sense so this is a very very good method guys it will help you to understand how the market is flowing and when you should expect a reversal for an example at this point in time we are not expecting any uh kind of a reversal because it's a beginning of a new wave on the daily time frame and one disclaimer uh, uh, uh this is not a signal guys i'm just teaching you what i do this is not a signal i'm just teaching you my method so thank you for watching this video